Here in Japan, when people die, the family typically, in the past, would hold a uh, funeral service in the household uh, within just a, a very short period of time after the person is deceased. And uh, they will uh, usually have a person uh, who has passed away on the uh, tatami, in the Japanese room, on the tatami mats laid out, and a service will be held. And uh, one of the ways that you can tell that uh, such an event is occurring is by the appearance of these lanterns. Here's a farmhouse. It's quite dark. We're out here and there's a big tea field out here. And there's a very uh, big uh, compound here. And that's the house. And there are a couple of lanterns out in front. Can you see them? And uh, these white lanterns are an indication that someone has uh, passed away here. And usually when I see these lanterns, uh, people will be coming to the house to pay their respects. Now I'm just going to walk by slowly. I don't want to cause any bring any disrespect or do anything by filming here. Uh, too obviously. That's the family crest there. They have some flowers. There's another one. Another white lantern. See the lanterns there? Now I can hear somebody making a bath in here. Hear it? Somebody's filling the tub. I'm going to go ahead and move along, like I said, I don't want to uh, be doing anything disrespectful. Just passing by and observing the lanterns there. But, so someone has died in this house, and uh, people will be coming to visit. Maybe not tonight, maybe it was, maybe it will be t tomorrow night or later tonight, I'm not sure. But there you go. Well, that's what happens when uh, someone dies in Japan, and how you can tell that someone's died in, in a household. Those lanterns appear in the front of the house. Take care for now.